For more than half a century, people from Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio have gone to the Overlook restaurant to see what's on the menu. Now, that restaurant, though, is up for sale. Yeah, so Brooke took a trip to Leavenworth, Indiana, where the doors are still open, and the owners and the customers alike have one big wish for the future owners of this space. It sits on a bluff overlooking what's known as the Horseshoe Bend of the Ohio River, at one time serving as a gas station and then a bus stop. But for the last 70 years, still need a few minutes looking over menus. The Overlook restaurant has served up mealtime favorites and a view you just don't get in the city. They love the view, they love the fried chicken, and they love the coconut cream pie. Sitting down on the deck having a beer, watching barges go by on the river. It's a meeting place for many people from Evansville, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, and Louisville. Well, we have Denny Crum often. And then there's Bill Tucker from Georgetown, who's been a regular for the last 30 years. It's in the middle of nowhere, but it, I've always said, if the food's good, people will find you. You'll mention the Overlook, and they've been here. Here are your pickles. All right, Abby's coming around. Chips for your dip. Tracy Pearson's been here longer than anyone. My daughter turned five, went to kindergarten, and I thought I'd get a part-time job, and she's now 41. <laughs> Over time, she's seen a lot of change from the menus to the owners, and it's about to happen again. It's been fun, but after 12 years, I mean, I'm not young anymore, <laughs> and uh, but uh, yeah, I want to be able to just pick up and go whenever I want to go. Karen and Roger Haverstock want to spend more time with their grandkids and travel. They've put the restaurant up for sale, but make no mistake. We're open. We're not going to close. No buyers yet, but when the time comes, they'll be sure to give their two cents about the employees and the food that have kept people coming back. I hope they don't change it. In Crawford County, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News on your side.